Morning, folks. Uh, this morning I wanted to talk to you about how in the Bible it says somewhere in the New Testament that uh, to the pure, all things are pure, and to the pure of heart, all things are pure, and to the, uh, you know, the corrupt, all things are corrupt, or something like that. Or something like that. It says, you know, something similar to that in the New Testament. Uh, you know, anyway, I just wanted to talk about that for a bit. Uh, you know how you know Christians and other people, and, and other people be, con be condemning all this, you know, you know, rock music and whatever because you know, say it's wicked and it sounds wicked and you think it sounds so wicked and you know, whatever else. Well. The, you know, and the Bible says, to the pure of heart, or to the pure, all things are pure. To the corrupt, all things are corrupt. This means that, you know, those who are pure, they, you can sit there and be listening to a, a rock song, you know, or maybe, maybe there's some cussing in it, but, uh, you know, it's not, you know, since you're, pu since you're pure in your heart, you know, and you're innocent, it doesn't, you know, uh, it's not wicked to you, and it doesn't it doesn't cause you to act wicked either, you know. Uh, but you know, to the corrupt, all things are corrupt, which means those who you know are wicked and not they trying to obey the Bible or you know, you know or don't believe in God and not trying to obey the Torah, you know. Uh, you know, the, the, and to them, it's wicked. I mean, it, it is wicked to them because, you know, they're wicked in their heart. And they're not trying to do right. So, you know, you know, uh, yeah, well, I guess that's it for now. Shalom.